With regard to regulation of uh, coal mining and, and mountaintop removal in particular, the, there are two major federal statutes that come into play, the Clean Water Act and the Federal Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act. Right. Uh, and, and they um, they overlap. Um, uh, a, a coal operator conducting mountaintop removal mining must have a mining permit uh, it issued by state regulatory authorities. I'll explain that in a second. And a, a, a uh, national pollution elimination system NPDES permit for discharges into waters in the United States. Uh, both of those statutes are cooperative federalism statutes. Uh, in Congress envisioned the federal government uh, uh, creating a regulatory framework uh, that uh, required a, a, a regulatory floor below which no state could go to avoid the so-called race to the, to the bottom. And then the idea was that the states could opt into enforcing those laws if they could show that they uh, had uh, laws and regulations as stringent as, as the Clean Water Act and the Federal Surface Mining Act. They had the resources, the funding, the, the uh, staffing and expertise, I'm talking about mining, mining engineers, uh, biologists, soil scientists and so forth, uh, and, and lawyers and inspectors and so forth, that they could carry out the responsibilities under those federal laws. And in Central Appalachia where mountaintop removal is done really exclusively, there's no other place that mountaintop removal is, uh, is conducted in, in the United States. Um, the, the states have assumed primacy primary authority to enforce the Clean Water Act and the Surface Mining Act. So uh, that doesn't mean that the federal presence totally drops out of the picture. Uh, both EPA and uh, Department of Interior's Office of Surface Mining have oversight responsibilities. And theoretically, if the states aren't properly enforcing those statutes, the federal agency ought to step in and uh, and they have the authority to revoke the, the primacy of the, of the states. Uh, realistically, that hasn't happened, even though uh, the regulatory failures of, uh, of Kentucky and the West Virginia programs have been uh, extraordinary. The, the, the failures uh, and the lack of commitment to enforcement. And uh, so uh, there's a failure at, at both the federal and the state level as far as uh, uh, effective enforcement of these statutes. And enforcement means reduced externalities. Uh, 